Okay, well, with wedding season coming on, let's talk about speeches and best man speeches in particular. It's the bane of most men's life is a best man speech. And I had a client the other day who said to me, look, Robin, I've got to make the speech and I'm really terrified about it because I'm just not funny. And I said, but who says you have to be funny? He said, well, I'm a best man. I have to be funny. It's the whole point of a best man speech, you know, to, to ridicule the, the guy getting married. I said, well, it's not actually. Your job as a best man actually is to big up your mate. You're bigging up your mate to half the audience who don't know who he is. So the bride's family are all saying, who is this guy? And you're saying, don't worry, he's a top man, he's okay. That's your job. Now, I said, tell me about your friend who's getting married. He said, well, he's called David. I said, well, tell me about David then. He said, well, David is probably the kindest man I've ever met in my life. I said, well, that is your speech, isn't it? Fantastic. You stand up there and you say, David is probably the kindest man I've ever met in my life. And I'm going to tell you why. And then you have a couple of real stories about them. Don't take jokes off the internet. Use real stories. And if you do that and you go for the love, no one is going to mind. And everyone is going to go, what a fantastic best man speech.